All right, we are here for game number one. Uh, I am on the play, and this hand's kind of bad. Uh, I mean, we got some nifty things here. We can do this to not produce any mana, and that's about it. Well, the great thing over here is that uh, uh, I do have some like counter magic if you do anything fast and aggressive. Uh, but if I, I'm keeping one lander to be to, to start off, and uh, as long as I draw land, I do have the ability to threaten engineer explosives on turn two. Ooh. Yeah. Would you like to draw this game and start a new game? I, I would like to do that, All right, actually. let's draw. Okay. okay. All right. Yeah. All right, so we're back for game number two, and uh, this hand is actually about as good as I could ask for. Uh, we have a lot of early plays, and we have this to just go ham. So. Yeah, my I, it's almost like I sculpted this hand. Okay. Wow, yeah. that's this is gonna yeah. be an interesting game then. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna fetch for a f just a basic forest and play a death right. All right, so you're at don't want to get wasted. I don't know what I'm playing against, so my 19. All right. Well, you are playing against island. Ooh. Tap engineered explosives for one. Oh, okay. Well, that's bad. Um. Yeah. Would you like to cut? Yeah. I also drew the best potential card that I could have ever wished for as well. <laughs> I didn't even realize I drew that. <laughs> Ooh, wow, that, that was a pretty insane draw. Uh, all right, I'm going to start by just casting a Glimpse of Nature. That is going to get Force of Will. 19 all. Um, would you like to draw this game and start a new game? Yeah. Okay. Sweet. All right. All right, we're back for game number three. Um, this hand is not that good, but at the same time, uh, we, have, we have some powerful spells, so I'm going to go ahead and keep it. Yeah, uh, it's not the strongest hand over on this side. And we will just let you know that we will not be drawing this game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just so you know that you'll be watching Magic. <laughs> um, uh, but we did. <laughs> we did have two draws in this first video. We did not lie in our deck tag. <laughs> and that's the important thing. Yes. All right, so you're good? Yeah. All right, get a forest, cast Quarian Ranger. All right, and that is... I can return a forest to my hand. To untap a creature? Correct. All right. Uh... I'm pretty sure if BBD ends up turn two killing us, then, well, good for him. Mm. But uh, I cannot see any reason why we wouldn't just lead with top here. Uh, we do have a way to interact with him. And uh, we're going to want to start digging. Uh, I don't think the Queen Ranger is going to be all that important on turn one. Maybe it is. But, uh, hmm. I wish I knew the play here. I did not want to be put to this test. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I did not want to be put to this test. Uh, actually, it's probably just correct to just... I mean, Queen Ranger is not the strongest creature in that deck. If you kept a one lander, then you get to produce two mana. What? Stop grinning at me like that. <laughs> You're just trying to mind trick me into killing your Quarian Ranger. I'm not trying to mind trick you into anything. I'm just grinning. I'm a grinning demon. Go. All right, Sensei's top it is. Interesting draw. Um, hmm. Actually, I did make a mistake. It should not be that. I should just go get a Volcanic in case I draw Counterbalance. Yeah. Then I can just, like, hard lock you. Well, 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 Mr. So Hardlock. I'm, I'm at Mr. 19. Hardlock. You're at 18. I'm at 18. All right. Um... I'm just going to play Wirewood Symbiote mm. and say go. Now that is a very good elf. It's an, it's an insect. It's an insect, or it's good with other elves. It is. Uh, yeah, over here, uh, I do not think we're going to want to use the top right away. We just wanted to get it into play. And, true, that's a, that's a spicy meatball. Is it? It is. Just it's not going to be that good for a while, but... Um, uh, I guess we're just going to want to play... Huh, this is a tough one. All right, we're just going to play the mountain and... Maybe not mountain. I guess we should just play the delta. Let's just dig for more cards in case we really need to need to go deep and pass the turn. And a turn, I'm going to fetch. I'm at 18. All right. And I'm going to get Dryad Arbor. All right. Let me ask you a question, Brad. What color is Dryad Arbor? It is, I think it's just 
colorless, but it might say green. Dried Arbor is green. It does say that on the card. Yes, Dried Arbor is green. All right. So my sideboarded parishes that I snuck in are going to be good? They are going to be very good. Hmm. That's an interesting draw, but not necessarily that great. Ooh. You only have three mana. Hmm. Four mana. I'm going to green some Zenus for three. Uh, can I get the Oracle on Edric? <laughs> is Edric an elf? I think it is. Edric is an elf. Okay. Well, we might we might make decisions now. <laughs> uh, we might want to force that since it, the Endric is just going to go back to his hand uh, if we end up lightning bolting that. Um, but it doesn't seem that bad. I do think we're just going to want to cast brainstorm this turn no matter what. So we're going to brainstorm first. Sure. All right. That wasn't good. Uh, wow. Uh, I don't even know if we want this, but I know we're not going to just want all of this land. Oof, we're in a tough spot. I don't think we're ever going to cast this card. All right, so we'll put these two back. Uh, that resolves. It was on top of my deck. And then you get to untap target creature. OK. Let me know when we go to combat. All right, well, we're going to combat. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go get a Volcanic, and I'm going to Lightning Bolt to Indrik. And I'm doing it now because I don't want him to be able to untap his attack and untap his Dried Arbor. Uh, all right. Well, I'm going to return to my hands and untap target creature. I'm going to untap Wirewoods to Sure. And let's see. 14. Oh, you fetched again. That's right. Yeah. Okay, you're up. Well, that was a delight to draw. That's the card I was looking for. That's not good. Yeah. I was going to have to trinket mage for it. Sure. Uh, it doesn't even seem like that bad to pop it now because he's not going to play another one, and that just gives him more mana off his cradle. So. Oh, he can return. You get to return the ranger, though. Mm-hmm. Mm, that's good. All right, your turn, I guess. I feel like I'm going to get huffed pretty soon. I uh, will add four mana. Yep. And cast Edric with one floating. Okay. I will not use that mana and go to combat. All right, in man in combat, I think we're just going to have to stop him from drawing two cards. So that, even though the ranger is going to go back to his hand uh, again, I don't want the dryad arbor to untap. Yep. So um, yeah, I will bounce this back to my hand with query uh, wirewood symbiote, and then our symbiote's going to die. We're going to attack you for one. Thirteen. You get a draw. Card. I get a draw card. All right. Uh, hold, hold on, I'm not done. Oh yeah, you gotta play an elf. Yeah. Um. I 
I think I just replay Florian Ranger here. So I go. All right. Go. Oh, uh, blue. Okay. Well, not fantastic. I guess we will go to combat. Uh, sure. Alright, so here we're going to just want to get uh, this off the board for, you know, later on just all the shenanigans, but we're going to take, we're going to go to 10. Alright, so you go to 10, I draw two cards. This thing is dead. Alright, those were good. No! Um, so now I have to decide. All right. Well, play a fetch. Hmm. There's a lot. There's a lot can be done here. Uh, I say you just play Carter Hope and say go. <laughs> I like that actually a lot. Uh, start with a win or off. Resolves. Heritage Druid. Resolves. Um, I think we're just going to actually leave it at... We might want to get... No. I think we just leave it at that and pass the turn. All right. I'll top. Sure. Um, none of these are going to do anything, so we're going to crack. Nine to nine. Yep. Go find an underground sea, an underground sea, an underground sea. All right, top again. Yeah, that resolves. I have no response to you topping a second time. That's good. Ah. Well. Well, we go naked. Drop. Uh, Transmute artifact. Where is it? I missed it. Uh, and now I can't think of a way, so activate it. Zach, yeah. fetch. Okay. I'm dead. Yeah. So I could have green sun for Reclamation Sage to get his painter, but uh, it seemed better to just wait. I mean, he had to have exactly the one grind stuff. He had to. He had to have one either, of the two cards. Yeah. One of the two cards, and if he doesn't have it, then he's just dead next turn. Um, I can uh, green sun for nine, and if he counters it, then I can natural order for crater hoof because I had a second cradle. So, all right, we are back for game four, and uh, this hand's pretty good, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep it. And I'm gonna fetch. Um, you can play it land where else. And now that I know that he's not playing a wasteland deck, I'm just gonna buy you. All right. Ooh. I'm just going to bolt that. Okay. Uh, and I had to mulligan. Uh, it might have been a greedy mulligan, but I had no interaction. And now my hand looks so much better, even down a card. So I think I was correct in your turn. And the reason I'm bolting is I just want to slow him down with where my hand's at. I don't want let to let him get out of control too early. Go. All right. Uh, I guess black. I don't really see. Yeah, I guess uh, in case I draw a strix, I need a black source. Uh, and I'm going to play counterbalance. Sure. Your turn. Hmm. Come me to whatever you're going to cast. <laughs> All right, let's hopefully not cut him to whatever we're going to cast. Um, you're like green sun for nine, <laughs> and you're just like flip hip knocks or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so who know? I 
I think I just play scavenging news here. Trigger. Yep. It's, that's not a. That's not. I would not play a green sun for four. Yeah, probably not going to do that. Okay. Attack Ooze, for two. Ooze is good. Ooze is good. Yep. Attack for two. Sixteen. Go. Uh, I have a very powerful start. Go. <laughs> that is pretty powerful. <laughs> you want to eat your Atlanta Werewolf? Um, sure, I will. I'm at 20. Yep. And now I'm keeping this open just in case uh, uh, I, I'm going to want to top, and it's better than just playing this, I think. So I'm hoping that you, oh no, no, not the Dryad Arbor army. <laughs> so many Dryad Arbors can't. It's a little time. Yeah. All right, so I have a game plan in this game. It is to get to zero cards, get an Incinerate Bridge into play, and have a three on top. But that doesn't beat Green Sun Zenith. Natural so. order. Ooh. Well, we're, we're not going to be able to let that resolve. We'll, we'll trigger Counterbalance and then top in response. OK. No Jace. No Jace. Un unfortunate. No land either. <laughs> oh, that's not good. That is not good indeed. All right, so we're gonna. Uh, I don't want to lose the card that's in our hand, but I don't. I don't want to top. I want to keep the top in play. I think we have to order it like this. I know he has a force of will, so. All right, so you're down to 15? 15. 15, yeah. All right, natural order is countered. Um, which, that's okay. Um, we're just going to go ahead and go to combat. Yeah, 11. Um, I'm actually going to eat my dried arbor. Oh, yeah, that's a creature, isn't it? So hit you for four, five, six. Does it count six. as a creature at all times? Yeah, land creature. So you're at nine. Let me check with four, five, six. Yes, I'm at nine. Yep. Wait, actually, did you pay no. one for force? Did we miss that? Yeah, okay. I'm at 15, and then I took six. 16 down to 15. And then you took six down to nine. Yep. Okay. You're up. All right, brainstorm. Sure. Oh, we are in trouble. Good. <laughs> Things are not looking good over here. Perfect. Uh, <laughs> the locker! <laughs> Go. <laughs> I'm gonna draw a card. All right, let's see what I can do here. Man, you you only have one more land than me, and you're just even attacking with this. Is just unfair. <laughs> You're like sacrificing those things, like they just mean nothing. Okay. Hmm. Letting it resolve, I see. I'm not. Oh, yeah, I forgot I have that ability, don't I? Oh, yeah, I have to do that. <laughs> counter it. Okay. <laughs> I forgot I had counterbalance in play. I'm just ready to go to the next game. I'm trying to think of the joke I'm going to make. <laughs> All right. Um. All right, what's your card? Green Sun Zenith. Okay, you win. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, in between games four and five, we're going to sideboard. Yeah. So uh, here, for me, I I honestly don't know. This probably cannot be correct. But Same over here. Like, yeah. <laughs> like I would like people that have played this deck to tell me if this is even close because I feel like it is. But you you give your logic first. Okay. So, and I, I'm I'm fairly certain that some number of these is right because uh, Heritage Root and Nettle Sentinel are kind of like they come they work together really well. Um, 
But the thing, the issue with these cards is when he, when you're playing against decks like <coughs> this, they're going to be bringing in like he has EE, which we saw. Um, he has Bolt, and he's going to be bringing in cards like this, which you just know that er every deck like that's going to have some kind of cards like that in their sideboard. These become a lot worse because you're not going to live the dream of assembling three elves that often. Um, so I don't want to have to rely on this, and you could argue that makes our glimpses worse, but I actually think value glimpsing is still fine, where mm -hmm. we're just going to draw like two or three cards, um, and we're not going to be able to combo with our glimpses, but he still has to respect them and oftentimes counter them, just because the threat of us drawing like three or four cards can push us so far ahead. Yeah, I think of I think of glimpse after sideboard in the deck like this against a deck with force will very much like silence, where yeah. you just have to counter it because you're not going to be able to fight the four cards that they draw off of it. Um, so I, I like that logic. And then I'm cutting one behemoth because I'm bringing in progenitus, and I don't want. I don't like that. We still have one in the deck, okay, so we can still kill Brad okay. with behemoth, but. Um, I'm bringing Progenitus because I think Progenitus is probably good against decks like this that don't probably don't have a lot of ways to kill it. Um, and then I'm bringing in all my like, value cards. So like Sylvan Library, um, since he's not really pressuring us much, we could draw a million cards with this. Um, Sage, he has a lot of artifacts and enchantments. Decay, same reason. And then I love Null Rod and Pithy Needle a lot against any kind of Sensei's top deck. Yep. All right. So over here... <coughs> uh, I cut one down to one recruiter and only down to one welder. And, I, I, and the only reason I'm doing that is because uh, this gives you access to just a one of tutor for a bunch of things, much like the transient artifact. The deck fade and does nothing to match up Nihil's Bubble as well. Right. Uh, and Ensnaring Bridge is not going to just straight win me the game, even though it could help because of Abrupt Decay. Yeah. Uh, but you'll eventually draw that, which means that I will not be able to protect this, so I don't want it in my deck. Yeah, like that's. That's only a stopgap measure. It's not going to win you the game, yep. and that's not necessarily what you want to be doing. Exactly. Because it, if, if I'm super far ahead on board, even if you have a bridge, um, I'm going to eventually find or this or this. Or you could have Deathrite Shamans that are killing me anyway. True. Um, then we're bringing in Thought Seizes to be able to disrupt uh, BBD's hand since his, his, his deck is so spell-based where you just have a lot of explosive powerful cards I want to deal with. Right. Uh, and then my three removal spells because they're a, a delight in the matchup. <laughs> oh, they really are. Yeah. So. <laughs> Well, so uh, this is the wonderful world of Legacy, where you can keep Lightning Bolt, Brainstorm, Volcanic Island, Uncastables. Awesome. Well, this yeah. is the wonderful, wonderful world of Legacy, where you can keep a forest and a bunch of green cr green cards. <laughs> 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 That's not a bad draw. Um, yeah, I still think we just lead with Deathrite Shaman here, though. Mm. Death right down. Right, he's I repeat, dead. death right down. Ooh, we drew a land, but it's not a good one. Uh, so if I name black on Banner Servant, does that mean I, my lands can tap for swamps? Tap for black mana? No. No? Okay. It doesn't. Well, then that changes my place. Well, that's fortunate for us. Uh, we're going to brainstorm and hope that this doesn't kill us. All right, well, I'm going to mental up your brainstorm. Go. <laughs> <laughs> one, two. Mmm, that's not good for us. No fetch land, no fetch land, no fetch land chant. <laughs> Go. All right. Doesn't have a fetch land. Does not have a fetch land. Oh, wow. That's just terrible for us. <laughs> what? Uh, I'll fetch a bayou and cast Sylvan Library. Oh, no. What's terrible? That's like the best card ever. Yeah, it was, it was my draw stuff return that was bad. Oh, it was like a progenitus? Yep. Yes. <laughs> Go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's try this again. Yep. Now that we're under the Sylvan Library. Pr oh, no. <laughs> Go! Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Got him where we want him. I saw Sylvan Library in my opening hand. It was like, sn snap, keep, everything. Oh, my. Are you uh, just going to 10? No, no, no. There's there's cards in here I don't want to draw. So. <laughs> <laughs> so we're at 14? Uh, yeah, we're just going to take two. Um, I should just be at uh, 15, right? Oh, sorry. I thought that was two fetches. Yeah, 15. Yep. Okay. Um... <coughs> we are in trouble, boys and girls, children of all ages. I could fire this, but I think we're best. Our best bet's just to wait on that. Um, but I'm gonna start by casting. Where would some be out? Chirp, fetch. Um. Just get a forest. Oh, 
I'll respond. Yep. Bolt that. Yep. And I bolt to respond so he Draw cannot just put the Elvish Visionary back in his hand. You're up. All right. So I've seen that card a couple times. Now, Brainstorm. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. Oh, it's hilarious. It is not funny. Firebolt, go. It has been firebolted. All right, Sylvan Library. Yeah. So. Which one do I actually want? I want to make sure I have this right. Yep. Uh. I think we, I'll just take eight. All right, you're at seven. You're at seven. Yeah. No. Uh, I fetch fetched. Okay, I fetched yeah, again. You're at six. I will not take eight then. Please, I'll, please take eight. No, I'll just be at nine or ten. Ten, yeah. All right, yeah, ten. Um, hmm. I think I want to wait on this until. Uh, I, I have another thing like this to, to go crazy in that regard. Uh, play Bird and Catacomb. Do you think we... I'm going to green some Zenith, but I'm not sure. Uh, Reclamation Sage, blow up your library. S Sylvan Library? Yeah. Interesting. It's either one or two. I'm going to Zenith for zero. Just one, I guess. Let's <laughs> check your cipher to see if you boarded out who's. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Yeah. I, I, got, I got nothing going on over here, buddy. All right. And I'm just going to get a Death Red Shaman. All right. Could have gotten an ooze, but I kind of actually just want the more mana, so. And Deathrite performs some of the same role. And I'm done after that. All right, well, either one would have died. Brainstorm! Sure. <laughs> no, this is just... This is getting actually pretty bad. I don't know why I'm doing this, because I'm just going to fetch... Go. I'm going to fetch a... Uh, an arbor? It? Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen so many cards that had such a bad hand. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sylvan Library. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I don't want to take damage here because we can just get double bolted out. So. Can you? Can you get double bolted? Have you played? Have you played three lightning played bolts? Three lightning bolts. All right. Well, he has a fire bolt in there, so. We could get Firebolt, Lightning Bolted out, and I don't think there's any, re <laughs> any reason to put ourselves in that position, so. Let's put those two back like that, draw this. And cast Glimpse of Nature. Resolves. If you tap mana for it. I will. Thank you. All right. Resolves. Draw two. Yeah. Draw one. Yeah. Oh, we got there. You got there? <laughs> got there. Oh, no. Uh, I only had two mana in my pool, though. Well, we can draw a lot of cards now. Yep. Well, uh, Quirion Ranger. Draw two. Draw two. Uh, still have one floating. Oh, uh, return a forest. You played a land this turn, though, right? Yeah, I did. Okay. Untap this. Oh, okay. I'm sweet. And can either attack Jace for one, which doesn't do that much, or I can just cast Null Rod. 
which does a lot. Yeah. Okay. Draw for turn. Oh, look. What a surprise. I haven't seen that card all game. Draw three. Oh, wow. Good ones? Well, let's figure this out. We can't actually beat that null road. I think we want to do this, or potentially this, and the problem is, is I, I'm almost certain that this is going to have to happen this this turn. Uh, so we have to put two back and fetch, but then that leaves our Jace vulnerable to death. I guess not this turn. And then maybe we can draw to protect it next turn. I guess we can hedge and just have this as a, our protection. So we're, we'll get rid of that for sure. And we can get rid of that. And then, okay. Both of those are gone. I'm going to go to 19. And I'm going to Thought Seize You. I'll go to All right. 17. Pick your, pick your poison. It's not oh, the best hand, to be honest. <laughs> it isn't th that good of a hand, no. It's pretty bad. I don't like the double natural order, though. The double natural order could get gross. But that reclamation sage is also gross. So we're... We're in... A small amount of trouble, no would matter you, what. Would you like to choose Progenitus? No, that card is staying. Okay. Uh, we can force you to sacrifice... So you can't actually cast double natural order next turn, can you? Uh, it depends on what to draw. Five, six, seven, yeah. Okay, um, I'm going to take the Reclamation Sage. Do you want to cut? Sure. And only in blue. In your turn. Okay. You have two cards? Yeah. All right, Sylvan Library. <laughs> I want some number of these cards, but I don't want to put myself down to being dead. Um, I guess I just draw this card this turn. We can do more stuff next turn. Yep. Natural order Elvish Visionary. No, I'll force. Okay. Two down to 16? Yeah. Yup. And pass my turn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. <All> right. <laughs> You've got me like very hard locked out of this game. Okay. <laughs> All right, so over here, um, I'm going to keep this hand, and I think the best is to lead like this, because we're going to want to upkeep top and take the best card and potentially do this and save the fetch land, so I'm good. All right, well, I'm old to six, and this hand's kind of a miserable six, but we're going to keep it anyway. Go. Um, all right, well, that changes our play. Buy you, death rates. All right, You're upkeep up. top. Sure. <clears throat> well, these are somewhat interesting. I don't know how much we're going to want this, but we can have access to it. So I think I'm just going to do this for now. We might fetch uh, next turn and then top. I don't think we want the welder, especially with we're, there's no way to put a you know an artifact in the graveyard yet. Uh, and so we will draw for the turn uh, and lightning bolt that. Pass the turn to you. That was one of the worst draws we could have had. That bad, huh? Go. All right. 
so we're going to want this card, uh, I assume. And now I want to draw another blue card so we don't have to top this, and I do not want that again, uh, f at least for now. So I'm going to top. Okay. Uh, that's pretty sweet. We'll just do this and we'll probably want a welder over a bad land. So yeah, we'll do that. And then uh, I'm going to play a strict draw card. Pass the turn. Sure. Three manas. Green stones for two. Uh, so th here he's going to go get scavenger news. And scavenger news can, or he might just go get uh, draw. Since we have the Strix right now, I I'm fine with whatever he goes and gets. Yeah. I'll draw a card. I shuffled the sun too. Last turn. All right. So we're going to draw this for the turn. Uh, still not something that we desperately want. And we can't guarantee that we're going to have a card for this, even though I want one, you know, pretty badly. Um, but I don't think we have enough to do with our land if we do, don't cast this. So hopefully we don't die. But I feel like it's a strong enough play to just play Jace. OK. So I'm going to go to 19. Uh, maybe this is just wrong. And I'm going to brainstorm. All right. One, two, three. Got there. All right. So we'll just throw these back and say go. OK, end of your turn, I'll pick this up. Yep. <coughs> You should talk more about your lens plate. Okay, so... You have he, a lot of cards in hand. Yeah, I do. So, my hand is pretty bad, um, but at this point, it's, it's getting a little better. My goal is to just... I can't really do a whole lot here, so my goal is to just draw a bunch of cards and get to a point where I can start doing things. Um, so, I'm going to play fetch land, and now I'm going to... I don't think I want to expose this thing yet, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add three mana to my pool. Uh, then I'm going to uh, untap this creature by returning Elvish Visionary. I'm going to sure. recast Visionary again. So you have one in pool? I have one in pool. Results. All right, draw a card. So now I've already used Wirewood Symbiote, and I still have one floating. <coughs> um, So, I think I'm just going to use that one in this Dried Arbor to just cast Sylvan Library. Hmm. That's a tough one, but it's also not a lethal card. But it, it can win, but I, I don't think I can afford to counter that. So okay. Results. Okay. Um, and I'm going to pass the turn, because I can't really attack into his Baleful Strix. Right. Brainstorm. Sure. Well, that got a little bit more interesting. It's really interesting, actually. Uh, so let's figure out what we're going to put back. This we can finally get to start becoming active uh, if we uh, end up blowing up his his library. No. And we kind of want to go get engineer explosives because we have academy ruins. 
but I don't know if I want to not pitch here. So this is for sure going back. And it depends if we shuffle, because we have two shuffle effects right now. But I want one of them to go back on top of my library. Yeah, I kind of feel like this is just the play, and it's not even uh, putting it into play. So with this being here, I maybe we just are never going to want this card, and maybe it's just too slow. It might not be. It does feel too slow, though. I don't know if we kill that. Man, this is tough. <laughs> uh, whatever. We can just get rid of that. And then I'm going to play Academy Ruins. Okay. Uh, Trinket Mage. Yep. Go grab an Engineered Explosives. Okay. Then I'm going to Fire Blast your Symbiote. Uh, in response to that, I'm going to bounce Elvish Visionary back to my hand. Yep. And your turn. Er, do I attack? I guess I can put pressure on you because I do not think you're coming back at me. All right, 18. Eight, your turn. All right, and I'm not going to uh, fetch up another Dried Arbor because I don't want to get blown out by like a Pyroclasm effect. So we'll go ahead and Sylvan Library. Um, we want these two cards, um, but we don't want this card because we have, we have a number of that. So we're gonna take four here, down to 14 and draw these two. Yep. All right, so now, um, there are a lot of things we can do this turn. A lot of things. So I want to be able to get... I want to... Well, he does have engineer Explosives, which is a kind of a problem. Wait, what did I do with all my mana last turn? I should have one up, right? Uh, so let's I just see. Did this and this. You play Trinket Mage, and then you Fire Blasted. Or Fire Bolted. Yeah, I don't know why my mana is tapped, but this should be in play. Okay. Okay. Sure. All right, well, that probably changes our line here. Um, Would that have changed your Sylvan? No. Because I was like, over here looking, I was just like, why is everything wrong over here? Would not have changed my Sylvan library at all. Um, all right, well, I don't want to flood the board with too many two drops because... Yeah, he is just going to engineer explosives, uh, explosives us. I'll cast Death Rite. Mm-hmm. And maybe we just keep getting value at this point. Cast Wirewood Symbiote. Okay. I'll fetch. Um, I'll go to Tropical, I guess. I want to fetch because I don't want to draw the top card of my deck. Cut. And we have not played a land yet this turn either, which is nice. Um, so add three. Cast Elvish Visionary. Results. Draw a card. That's bad. Um, we'll use this guy to bounce Visionary. Yeah. Cast it again. Okay. Draw another card. Oh, that could be good. Um, and I, I guess I get to uh, untap this guy yeah. as well. Yeah. So then I could add more to the board, but again, that just seems bad um, since we know what's going to happen. So I'm just going to play that and then pass the turn, I guess. All right. Draw for turn. Well, there we go. Now we're online. <laughs> uh oh. It's the card that we've been looking for. Let's uh, let's brainstorm. Sure. Oh wow. Oh, look! Look at all these new found resources that we have that are good <laughs> in the game. Uh oh. Um, odds are we're going to have to shuffle. So, I guess. Or I guess we're not going to have to shuffle. Um, but I feel like we're supposed to put these on top of this way. Yeah. Yeah, just like I thought, that Goblin Welder is just a wasted card. Um...
Hmm. All right, so play this. Okay. Um, uh, play counterbalance. That's pretty good. Yes. Yes, it is not bad. And I want to play the engine explosives, but I don't know what I'm supposed to name. I'm obviously not going to blow up two drops now. I don't want to. Um, and I don't want to really blow up one drops because I, I mean, I can just put this on top. But I don't want him to continuously keep drawing cards with the visionary. But I mean, I guess I can just you know, attempt to counter it now. Um, I guess this is a fine time for us to just... I guess that was just, that's a big punt. That's just like a, a really bad play. <laughs> uh, Putting back something back on top to use to counter? Or? I don't know. Oh yeah, that's why I did it. <laughs> I'm having a tough time. I already, I already had that li line of thought. Um, Topping ain't easy, man. This is not easy. This this matchup is so complex for both of us. It is. Everyone actually. at home is just like probably thinking like you guys are so bad at magic. Yeah, <laughs> it's actually a really really complicated matchup. Um, I guess I can just threaten, threaten this. Sure. Having an E on one sure. makes things a little bit more difficult for for BBD. I don't know if I, w I don't want to pop it though. Definitely don't want to pop it. So I wouldn't mind bopping it, but not popping it. I like bopping it a lot. Yeah. I used, right. to, I used to bop it as a Take kid. You 12. Your turn. <laughs> I'm going to go to 12. Now, this put, wouldn't this put you at 11? Uh, oh, I missed the fetch from last turn. Yeah. All right, 11. Uh, I'm going to get uh, Bayou. I'm going to abrupt to K your counterbalance. Oh, that's <laughs> awful. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. Got him. <sighs> if you're going to blow explosives for one, you should at least top first. I can put it on the stack. Okay. Okay. Yep. Ooh. That's pretty good. I don't want that. Yeah, I, I, need, I want the top. <laughs> well, that's in your graveyard then. Yes, this is in my graveyard. All right, you're that's in my graveyard. Well, well, I'm going to respond too, actually. I'm yeah. going to... If I can either get value by mounting this again... Well, this is this is go gone too. It's still on oh, the stack. still on the stack. Still on the stack. Okay, I'm going to bounce Deathrite Shaman, I guess. All right. And then... Yep. Your turn. All right. Well, I don't think I can win this matchup just purely based on I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so let's see what we got going on here. Ooh. I feel like this card is... What am I at? 11? All right. I don't think... Maybe I can take damage one more time because I do have this. Um, I would go to 7 and can attack me to 6 and then double bolt me or something. But these are some sweet cards. I think I'm just going to take this and not take damage and, and play it safe. Um, so this is going to let me do some crazy things this turn, hopefully. Um, I'm, not, I'm not a mathematician, so I don't actually know exactly <laughs> what we can do. Uh, but we'll start by casting Wirewood Symbiote. Mm -hmm. um, you have killed many of them, but I, they still remain. And then Deathrite Shaman. <sighs> okay. And now I guess I have to decide if I... Do I just try to value here? Or do I try you to... Continuously just continue, like, keep going for value until I bolt you out. I'm fine with that. Because I could also... Let's see, I can add four. 
I can tell you straight up without ever practicing this deck. This deck is just too complex to just pick up. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> this deck is insane. Oh man, this is hard. All right. Well, we're going to. I'm gonna cast scavenging ace. Well, I can't. Yep, that's fine. All right. Add five mana to my pool. Sure. Uh, another five mana in my pool. Sure. Green sun for nine. Counter. Okay, you're at 18. So I still have one mana in my pool. All right. I will exile Firebolt. Aw. Then I, I will... Um... All right, clock. Yeah, I'm going to bounce this back to my hand to untap this. Sure. And, yeah, I'll just, I'll, pa I'll pass the turn. Okay, because that has how many sickness. It does, yep. All right. Draw, brainstorm. All right, so these go back. I'm going to play, well, actually, do they go back? Well, I want to do this real bad. I guess I can. These can go back like this. Uh, she's going to get so much value for the rest of the game. But we can just deal with the scavengers, and the Sylvan's not as scary, so I guess we'll just play engineered. Yep. And blow it again. All right, I'm going to respond to that yeah, by by just return your thing. add a green, return this, untap this. Okay, and go. Uh, use the green to exile uh, both explosives. Use okay. It. Yep. And this is dead. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Untap Sylvan Library. Well, that's sweet. Uh... We'll just take this, and I will play Elvis Visionary. All right. Draw Aquarian Ranger. Okay. Um, should have maybe replayed Death Ridge. I'm not sure, um, but play a fetch. Cast Pithy Needle. Counter. Alright. 17. Needle is down for the count. And I can't attack, so I'll pass. Alright. Draw brainstorm. Yep. Alright, we'll put these on top and then play those. That's pretty good. And we well, got tells me there is not a decay in your hand, but you could have one. I still can attack, so your turn. All right, I'm going to fetch down to 10 just to clear the top of my deck. Uh, and then I have five. Um, I can use a lot of stuff. What None of my stuff's it? relevant. None of your stuff's relevant? No. Okay. In that case, I will just eat my five creatures. Or okay. four. I have four creatures. I'll eat four creatures. All right. So I go to 14. I want to make sure that I have it right, yep. I go to 14. This says four counters. All right, untap and Sylvan Library. Wow. <laughs> Goodies? Yeah, those are good. Yeah, I mean, it's eventually going to happen. Yep. 10. Kep. Take two. Um... Play a land. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cast. Where would some be out? Okay. Green Sun Zenith for nine. Uh, let's see. One. Yeah, four, that kills me. Yeah. 
All right, well, I'm on the malt, and I'm just going to keep, because I don't know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> like, this thing is just too hard. <laughs> All right, this thing's really good, so I'm going to keep. <laughs> Go. All right, fetch by you, death rate. You got it. Go. All right, well, death rate's still alive, which is good news. <laughs> because he has not survived much in this match. He has not. All right, cut that. And draw. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> uh, not right now, but it will be. Uh, I will cast Glimpse of Nature. Uh, yep. Okay, well, that's just a simple value glimpse. Uh, because we're just going to cast... Two guys? One guy. Oh, one guy? <laughs> Elvish Visionary. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad, actually. It's a simple cantripping glimpse. All right, so Visionary... I'll draw a card and then draw from the visionary. Okay. Uh, I'll draw crack two, pay two. So I'm at 16. All right. 1916. Done after that? Yep. Draw. Uh, another visionary. You got it. Draw a card. Go. Draw. Uh. I, I'm I'm open I'm open for <laughs> <laughs> for a uh, the shaman, but I'm gonna brainstorm. Okay. Not gonna bounce. Right. Not going to bounce. <laughs> yeah, you know, each their own. I'm, uh, I'm just gonna fetch a dried arbor sure. since he's done, and there's nothing better for me to do. So I'm at 18. Go if you'd like. All right, draw. Sure. All right. <laughs> Korean Ranger. Yep. Draw a card. And that's why you don't play the land first. <laughs> oh, no. Guy's Cradle. Uh, add three scavenging use draw a card. Sure. Um, so you have one floating? I have one floating. I think I'm, let's see, one, two. I'm one short. That's unfortunate. Uh, one short of what? Doing some, some shenanigans this oh, turn. Yeah, I'll cast Pithing Needle. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, name Jace. Sure. And I guess in case he can kill our Needle, we'll still just attack Jace for two. Okay. Go. Whoa. All right, draw, play that, play top, play Pyroclasm. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's brutal. I guess I will, yeah, let's pick this up. Yeah, In your turn. Ah, BBD, <laughs> you're killing me over here. It's got all the answers, always. So you can shuffle that away. Force. Oh, you're gonna force an R. Okay, sure. Yeah. So you're at 17. Yeah. I'll play Dried Arbor and say go. I'm at 15 because of Toxic Deluge. Oh right. All right. So I'm going to top, play top, uh, spin top. Sure. Uh, short sure, in case something bad happens, we'll do that and pass the turn. Tech chase. Uh, oh, this visionary. Results. Draw. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. Go. All right, so I don't want the top three cards. Yep. Um, down to 14. We'll just get another black source. I guess black red since all of our lands produce blue. Oh, no, there is another underground. And then we'll top again. Mm -hmm. I think I misplayed that turn. Should oh, really? Should have just done something else. 
I got greedy. Right. Top. All right. <laughs> Good or bad? It's awful. Go. Right. Uh, I mean, I am down to one card. All right, you're in here somewhere. A little force that could. Mm -hmm. That's sweet. Um, natural order of this. All right. Well, I'll actually kill yep. Jace this time. Jace is down. You're up. Yep. Right. So that was uh, I could have natural order last turn, but I got greedy with oh. the attack first. Yep. I could have countered it too. Okay. Um, top. Thirteen. Yep. Uh, top. Sure. Yeah, it seems about right. Spin, play, play. Yep. And go. That's actually pretty good. That was pretty good, too. Uh, green sends the end for one. Sure. Shuffles on. And let that train begin again. Yep. Add two mana, bounce this, recast it. Yep. Fetch, Query, and Ranger. Okay. You're up. I will top at end of turn. I'm pretty sh confident, yeah, everything stay in. Draw. Uh, play, Cassie E, blow it, put top on top. Play for one. Yeah. X equals one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hmm. I guess no. Let me take that back. I'm going to spin the top while E is in my hand, just in case. Okay. I can't see any reason, but if you want to cut, sure. So I'll spin. Yep. Top. Yep. Uh, for this card, that's not bad. But I st yeah, I'm still going to do that. Mm. I guess I'll save my query and ranger. Okay. Interesting attack. Okay. Your turn. Oh yeah, you save the ranger. Yeah. So I'm at sixteen. Yep. Uh, and this is gone. Oh yeah, that's gone too. Well, that's why I killed that Jace. Um, okay. Query and ranger. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think there's any. Let's see. Three. Yeah. I'll just natural order. The Elvis Visionary. Uh, yeah, I'm dead. Genesis. Yeah, and I can't beat it. Okay. I have never felt like I had no clue what was going on more than this video. I never felt like I just finished a full tournament within the confines of a oh, single I match. Oh, I know, right? What are we on, like, minute, like, 180 right now? We, like, played, we played seven full games, too. Any, yeah, anyone? Two yeah, that two came, to a, came to <laughs> Two came to a natural conclusion of a draw, but we did play seven games. Yeah, like, this was just, like, this was, like... A, a motion picture like trilogy. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like this is just like we have started our trek to Mordor playing this match alone. I mean, after game one, it was like maybe Brad has like a new hope, but then game two is just like Elf Strike Back. Yeah. And then like <laughs> games three through five were like Return of Elvish Visionary. Yeah. And, yeah. Then, and then and then games four and five were where I just gave up, just like he did with the the next three. I don't know. I've never watched Star Wars. Yeah. But ever. I don't know. You know the the Edric Menace. Edric Menace? Yeah. I don't get it. The Phantom Menace? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. A lot of people... I know a couple. Like, I know you Empire could, you, Strikes Back. Instead of saying you didn't get it, you should just been like, that one doesn't exist. You that know? one doesn't exist? Yeah, a lot of people don't think... A lot of people pretend that movie just doesn't oh, exist. Oh, I've, I've never franchise. watched Star Wars. Okay. So you, I, I actually don't know. Well, I know what we're doing after this video. <laughs> Watching Star Wars? No, we're going to record another video. Oh, yeah. We, yeah. Are, we are actually <laughs> recording another video. Yeah. And it's in modern, and hopefully it's better. And with time travel, they don't actually know. It's true. We don't even know which one goes up Yeah, first. that modern one might actually be up before this one. Oh, Ooh. wow. 
This one's first. Never this mind. First. This one is first. Next week we're playing modern. Yeah, it'll be sweet. And uh, yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks for uh, staying, sticking around for that <laughs> entire video. <laughs> yeah. The old slog through. Yeah, that yeah. was that was a uh, that's the old CVM BBD style video yep. that I usually fall asleep through. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's fortunate because I fall asleep while making them. <laughs> oh no, guys! Thanks for watching so much. Uh, hopefully. Uh, and this this is why I play Esper Deathblade, because I like to attack with things I can't kill. <laughs> True name nemesis. And this is why I don't play elves, because my mind explodes and I get intentional draws. Yeah, didn't, uh, to be honest though, didn't Betcher like 701 or 80 with this deck? Something like that, yeah. The kid might just be a master. He might yeah. just be the next prod magic prodigy, because like, uh, obviously these were my first five games with the deck. And I thought, yeah. I thought it was going to be able to pilot it better than this. Like, this is just... To me, this feels like going to Europe and getting in one of their cars and then just crashing. <laughs> like, just not having any clue what I was doing. Like, this did not feel like magic to me. Well, to be fair, you also played against Elves, which is, in my opinion, one of the hardest decks to play I against. I guess, to be fair, it's not Europe, uh, Dublin. Not all Europe drives yeah. on that side of the road. I'm, I'm speaking of other... But other people in Europe are just like, what? Well, people in Europe do drive like maniacs, though, compared to Americans. They do, man. They do. I, D I, uh, I, I, like, crossed the road a couple times and thought I was going to die. Yeah, I actually got in a taxi and was like, I need to be here now, and I regretted every minute of it. Yeah. I wish I was just late. You're like, I need to be here at a leisurely <laughs> place. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Please, I will pay you more if we get there 15 minutes behind schedule. Anyway, guys, we've already been taking up all of your time. Uh, we should just start a podcast so we can do this. Yeah. Yeah. We'll just talk about matches we didn't play. Yes, we will uh, We'll be getting on that after uh, the Pro Tour. The BBD Brad podcast where we just talk about absolutely nothing and have no continuity whatsoever. Delightful. <laughs> All right. Well, see you guys later. I'm BBD, and that's Brad. And we Brad will Nelson be here. Goodbye. Brad J. Nelson. I don't know what your last middle name is. S. Clear. Cut. Cut. <laughs>